and I think you might think of it as being coming to Montreal on a trip. For some of you guys, it'll be the step where exactly four years from now, you're going to be on the Olympic team. One of the things that's going to make you get there is because you're here today with these coaches, with all the people that have talked to you, Ken McKinnon, to Ball Mechanics guys, to having the team managers help you. But the only way you get there, and what we do, what your parents have done by paying money for you to come here with this experience, we can't do one thing. We can't swim for you. You're the only ones in the next four years that can make a difference. And you're going to do it in a simple way. And I'm going to go through and add a few of those. One, you've got to be a great team player. You can't be dog eat dog. You can't be putting people down on your team. You can't be laughing at other people. You can't be a bully on your club. You gotta be the reason your club is becoming better and better. You gotta be the reason why kids want to swim with you. Not because you're a jerk, but because you're fun to train with. That has to be the number one quality of the swimmers I want on my Olympic team. I want people that are gonna find ways to make your teammates better. Say thanks for this set. Come with me, it's gonna be hard, but we're gonna have a go. These are the qualities of great Canadian Olympic team members that we're trying to build on. We don't need selfish prima donnas that couldn't care less about their teammates. In Rio and in 2020, we want you guys to be so key to make your team so great for people to go, wow, look at that Canadian team. They're the best team. Maybe they don't win every event, but look how close they are as a great team. But it can't start once you're in the Olympic team. It's got to start at every one of your pools. From Manitoba to White Horse. It's not your coach's team, it's your team, and 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 your team. And as long as you wait for somebody else to make your team great, you're gonna have a pretty good team. But think about this. Think about if you had a bad day today and your teammates say, hey Joanne, man, you had a bad day, I had a bad one too. Let's have a let's finish the workout and have a great workout together. It makes it a lot more fun. I'm sure you guys go, oh I don't want to do that set of fly. I hate it, damn it. Well you know what happens? You bring your teammates down with you and you have a shitty set. You don't have a great set. And you have to do it anyway. So number one quality on the national team, be a great teammate. Number two, to be technically better than anybody in the world. This is not about swimming laps. This is about swimming legs with awesome technique. You could swim 20 kilometers a day in training like this. <laughs> and you're always going to get beat by somebody who swims 5,000 meters a day like that. Every time. Okay. And you look better when you swim with your tank. So you need to become a great technician. You need to be the 
the best in your team. Starting with being the best in your lane. And then the best in your team and in your group. And the best in your region. Because the best swimmers over here, you've watched for two and a half days, they've got good technique. They don't swim all, all backwards. They don't swim backstroke with your head going. Number three, you gotta be a great kicker. If you don't work on your kick, you're all gonna be a pretty good swimmer. But you're not gonna be here. You've gotta kick, you've gotta to wanna to be great at kicking, you wanna beat everybody in your lane at kicking, you wanna be the best kicker on your team, you wanna challenge it, and you don't wanna ever kick slow. Slow kicking is a waste of your time. Complete waste of your time. It's kind of like this. You've got a video game at home. you got your buddy at home. And there's only one thing playing it. You're sitting there waiting your turn. You hate it, don't you? Well, slow kicking is the same thing. It's a waste of time. You don't get to practice. Real kicking. Number four, you got to want to be at practice. And it comes back to number one. If your buddies are there, you've got a great team around you, you've got a coach that's saying, you know what, we're shooting for the moon. Let's do it. It might be hard, but it'll be fun. You're all going together. It's fun challenge yourself. Sometimes you're tired. It's okay. I can tell you the best in the world get tired too. And at the end, it's you that's going to be on the Olympic team. Not us. It's you that's going to be an Olympian all your life. It's you they're going to be swimming for a university in Canada. I'm going to be a dolphin with UBC. I'm going to be a husky in Saskatchewan. I'm going to be University of Montreal. We've got one of the greatest college swimming programs in Canada, in the world, right here. People think, oh, i got to go to the U.S. You don't have to. Most of our medalists internationally stayed in Canada. I look good over there, but it's funny, our best ones stay here. So these are decisions you can have to make, sooner or later. And at the end, be the best teammate ever. Make somebody better every day. Help the teammate be better. Great technique. If you look at a beautiful painting, it's because the painter has beautiful technique. You don't buy paintings that are painted with a hammer. You buy beautiful paintings by an artist. You gotta be an artist to use technique. Kick, 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 kick. And then have fun training with your teammates. Pretty easy. I can tell you, there's nobody in the world the last three days that's been doing what you've done. Nobody in the world in the last three days, other than the United Six, have been swimming in the morning, watching the Olympic finals, training together. You're one step ahead of anybody else in the world. Yeah. Say that again, I want to hear you guys go, yeah, baby! There's nobody else in the world that's done that like you guys. Yeah, baby! What do you mean? Like, there's nobody in the world that's done what you guys are doing. Yeah! So, I would love to think that you're going to be so nice to your mom and dad that when they pick you up tomorrow, you say thanks, I'm stoked. I want to get on that team to Rio. 
thanks mom or thanks dad for giving me that opportunity. Thanks coaches for being away from your family to help me. Take the time to do that. Because they don't have to do this. They're there to help you. And I'm going to mean this again one more time. If you're a bully, if you're a mental bully on your team, and you pull your team down to not wanting to be great, you're hurting people. If you're not going to say a good thing to your teammate, don't say anything. Because that day, that teammate might be the day they want to be great. They don't need you to put them down. <laughs> Olympic champions, they come from different colors, different heights, different looks, but they come to Olympic champions. <laughs> For me, and I go back to my Olympic team in 216, I need great team players with great technique. They're going to take the bring it on attitude. That's it. Tonight, when you're standing up there, you're going to watch Ryan Cochran, Olympic bronze medalist. You're going to watch the 200 free, the fastest 200 free field of girls ever in Canada. They're going to fight for four spots on the Olympic team. There was 100 and I think 175 girls for four spots. 175 people to two to three, four spots. 100 breaststroke, 10107, the rest are 108. You think it's going to be a love fest to them? They're going to want to be the hell out of each other. Two spots on the Olympic team. Mike Brown, second going into the 200 breaststroke. He was fourth at the Olympics by six. 100 of a second. Four more years of training to try to get on the podium. You're going to see some fun things today. Pretty awesome. Enjoy it. Enjoy the experience. I want to know though, four years from now, on the day, you make the Olympic team. Say, Coach, remember Montreal, I was there at the trials. That's what got me going. So, nobody's going to stand up. We're all going to come in the middle. We're going to put our hands in the middle. We're going to scream from the top of our head lungs, Go Canada, go. Come on, everybody here. Go! Yeah.